let's say it's a new week. I know some people like to start the, say the week starts on Sunday. I do myself, but for this case, let's say it's Monday. I wake up on a Monday and it's nothing about this being Monday, but I hate myself. I want to die. I want to kill myself. I wish every car that passes by would run me over. One problem. Every single person I see walk by, I'm afraid they're going to take me and rape me. Another problem. Every single person my age that I see walking by, I want to be friend, but I'm scared of what they'll say. I shouldn't have said every. I only meant some. Everyone else, I want to fucking kill because they're worthless pieces of shit. I've gotten too ahead of myself. Anyways, I don't, I want to die on this Monday. And I hate everything, including myself, especially the world. The next day, Tuesday, I want to go outside for once. I want to go explore the world. I want to go climb a mountain or a hill. I want to go to a beach. I want to watch maybe some birds. I want to go swimming. I want to go fishing. I want to go hunting. I want to go shopping. I want to go dress up. I want to go chop down a tree. I want to go make something. I want to feel good. I want to hang out with friends. I want to spend time with family. I want to talk to them. I love myself for once. The next day, Wednesday, I hate the world even more. But I hate myself less because I know the only reason why I hate myself is because I hate the world. I need to cleanse the world. The only way to do that is to kill every single last motherfucker on this planet. Even the ones, the very few that I do like. But these are just thoughts and I never act them out. Thursday. I don't even know. I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, yeah. I look shitty, but do I care? No. I just want to be left alone. I just want to live myself and get through the day. Do whatever I want. And get home. Safe and sound. Friday. I'm passionate to work. there's one problem. I'm like a completely different person. I mean, I'll have like completely different interests or something or I'll wear something I don't think I'd ever wear in my life or I'm talking to different people I've never met before or people I just didn't like. Saturday, I'll stay in my room all day, do nothing. Sunday's the breaking point. I've realized each and every day of the week, I'm like a completely different person. And I hate every single person on this planet, except for the few that I do like each of those weeks. Except for maybe a few rare times. I'll hurt myself on this day. Maybe set back to a Monday. Where I just want to do what I enjoy. Just have fun. Yeah, it may be embarrassing. Others will make fun of me for it. But I like what I to do.
Tuesday again. I don't know if I'm myself or not. I don't know if I'm me. People joke about hearing voices in their head, but when I say it, it's not a joke. They tell me to do bad, bad things. They control me. I'm not me. I suppose it's because silence gives us space, doesn't it? And space gives us the space to be ourselves, to, to uh, expand. Yes, that's it, really. And it's in that expansion that we expand beyond. Uh, it's the ego that's so boring, this incessant little voice that goes on about <clears throat> me and my own concerns and my worries and my fears and uh, what's going to happen to me. <clears throat> That's really what such a pain, and uh, and uh, don't we get fed up with it when other people talk like that? <laughs> we, we all think our own is interesting, and other people's is boring, but <laughs> but our own's pretty boring also. Once you get used to listening, listening to, to it, uh, you know, with a bit of a step backwards. <laughs>